Are you shocked that there's a YouTuber left out there who doesn't have a designer purse still? Well, until a couple days ago. And I finally caved and got one, but it's because I got it at a really good deal too. I cannot wait to show you which one I got. Hi, my friends. Good to see you again today or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Angela and my channel is all about affordable fashion for ladies in our 40s and beyond. So if that kind of thing sounds good to you and you're interested in seeing more of that in the future, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. As you can tell, there's not a lot of guessing going on. You know I got a Kate Spade, okay? <laughs> we can tell that, but which one did I get, right? Okay, so here is the little beauty right in here. Now, I have been kind of looking, just taking a look around. I've been looking at Coach. I've been looking at Kate Spade a little bit, and there was a couple of other brands that I was kind of like, mm, maybe, maybe if I got a good deal. Well, when I was on vacation, we went to the outlet mall one day, and of course I thought, let's just see what the outlet stores have to offer as far as deals. Well, they were having a fantastic Labor Day sale. So everything in the Kate Spade store at least was 60% off. I thought, okay, that's a pretty good start. Let's see what I can see there, you know? So I go in, I'm looking at all their stuff. Now, here's my caveat to the purse thing. If I'm going to pay some decent money for a purse, I don't want it to feel like plastic. I don't want it to feel like a purse that I could go to Target, Walmart, Kohl's, any of those to get at a cheaper price, right? I want it to feel like a more quality. That's what I think of when I think of a designer purse. And some of the brands out there, I hate to say it, feel like a, like a heavy duty plastic to me. And my daughter has one included that I was like, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get where this expense is coming from because to me, it doesn't even feel like a quality purse, right? So anyways, there's that. So I go into Kate Spade and you know that some of them do feel like that hard plastic stuff and I, I didn't like that. So then I came across this little number and why don't we just stop the chin wagon and I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got and then tell you what the original price was and the deal that I got for it. Okay, so while I'm getting all the soft stuff off of it, I was gonna tell you today, I got a little bit more spiffed up for this video because you know, it's a designer purse. So I thought, let's put on a little bit more makeup than I normally do and kind of do my hair. Now we're gonna have a vote at the end of this video if you wanna stick around to it for it. The vote is gonna have to do with hair and styling it in the summertime. I wanna see if you guys are experiencing the same difficulty I had on vacation. So make sure you stick around for that. And also, I wanna know how many of you out there still do not have a designer purse? Because, I don't know, I kinda of felt like maybe I was the only, you know, like one of the only ones left, right? So if you still don't have a designer purse out there, let me know in the comment section. It would be fun to kinda of just see. And also, if you've been thinking about it and you've been on the fence, maybe consider taking a look at an outlet mall and seeing what kind of designer purse stores they have there and what they have to offer for you. They got a lot of wrapping on here. Lots of tissue. Okay, after removing about 80 pieces of tissue paper that were jammed in the purse, we're ready to go. Okay, so here it is, my friends. I picked the black one because I thought it would be perfect going into fall and winter. Now this is a bucket purse, but it's got some perks to it that a normal bucket doesn't have, that I've seen anyway. I thought this was so cute. It's basic, it's simple, but the leather feels very nice on it. Doesn't feel like a cheap plastic to me. Um, it is a crossbody. You could do it crossbody or just over the shoulder. And here is from the side and from the back, and it's got these little pulls here on the side. In the front, it has got this little um, twist area here, like almost like a lock, because if it's in the upright position, you cannot pull this front pocket open. If you turn it the other way, now it opens. So that's kind of cool because, I mean, who knows, right? You could put things in there that make it a little harder for somebody to come and pickpocket on your purse or something. 
So, okay, here's what it looks like on the inside. I loved the feel of this on the inside. It is a pink suede. Okay, you know you had me at the pink. And it's got sections in the bucket purse, which I really like. I don't like when it's just one big area because all my stuff gets lost in the bottom. You know what I'm talking about? So it's got one area pocket there, right? Then it's got one area in the front that you can kind of keep some things separated. Then in the middle, it's got this uh, magnet, okay, that keeps this closed and it's a tighter, oh, more tissue paper, way more. Okay, it's got a pocket in the very center that would be perfect for a small wallet, maybe even my phone to kind of keep it in a spot that's easy to grab. It's like one single thing in there. So I really like it. I like that it's not big. I like a smaller purse, but not too small where I can only fit like lipstick and you know your mask or whatever and a pair of glasses this is going to fit everything i would normally carry and more but still on my small frame not look too big for me it does not have feet on the bottom but that's okay for me that i don't that's not a deal breaker for me so then on the inside how this closes this snaps to the middle area right and then this snaps together from with a magnet and then you can lock it. So let me show you what this looks like as a crossbody. Before I forget also, let me tell you what this was called. It's the Marty Pebbled Leather Small Bucket Purse. So just in case you wanna look for it and they had it in multiple colors. Now this strap is adjustable. So here's what it would look like if I carried it over the shoulder like that. I mean, literally it is a perfect size for me because I don't need a big old purse. now. This purse did come in a larger size. So if you like the style, but you're thinking for you it's too small, then it does come in a larger bucket size. This is what it would look like on me if I just carried it crossbody, which I love a crossbody purse. I love having my hands free, you know? So it is just so cute and I love the feel and the quality of it for what I paid anyway, okay? So are you guys ready for it? So this purse originally was $359. I would turn around the other way and run, honestly, just because I can't imagine myself spending that kind of money on a purse. So, but with the 60% off, let me tell you what I paid. All right, here it is, my friends, Kate Spade, just so you can kind of see the official receipt. So it was $359 originally, and I paid $114 for it. Now, is that still probably a little crazy for a purse? Yes, I could get probably five, six purses from Walmart for that price. But I wanted something a little bit special. This is very classic. It's gonna last a long time. And it's a style that will be around for years to come. So I figured that it's not something wild and crazy that's gonna be out in a season. I'll have it for a long time. And $115, when you look at what the original price was, I was like, score, <laughs> that's a great deal. I've always liked Kate Spade stuff. We have a Kate Spade in our mall and I've always liked it, but it was like, oh, I just don't wanna spend the money on it. But now that I know I can go to an outlet store, even if the styles are like a year or two out of date, I really don't care. If I like it and I know I'm gonna use it over time, that's what matters to me. It doesn't need to be this season's purse that I won't wanna deal with next season, you know? So what do you guys think? Did I pick a good one? I'm pretty happy with it anyway. So, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it this winter. It doesn't bother me that there's no zip closure because when you snap, when they all kind of come magnetized together, it's tight. Could something fall out? Yes, but they're not gaping holes. And there's not many times where my purse completely dumps all the way over, even if I do have a zip purse. So I'm totally fine with that, not having a zip top, um, but you may not be. So there are lots of purses to choose from though. If you're getting the itch, see, you're getting the itch to go out and maybe look for your first designer purse, go to an outlet store and see what you find because you're gonna find a much better deal on them there than probably in store for sure. So last thing I wanna do a little vote on is the hair situation. So I just came back from being gone in Tennessee and in Myrtle Beach. 
In Tennessee, the humidity down there, maybe the water, affected my hair a little bit. When I got out of the shower, I could get it to look nice and smooth and just, you know, pretty, pretty uh, for a little while. And then we kind of get frizzy as, as time went on. In Myrtle Beach, my hair looked horrible. I could not even out of the shower get it using the same products, same hair, a shampoo and conditioner, same hair products, um, using my, my same tools. It would do really nothing. I thought if I lived down here, I would need baseball hats all the time because it was just a frizz ball. It didn't do any nice style like this at all. So when I got home, I thought, okay, what's going to happen? What's my hair going to do? And we've had hot, humid days here. I mean, we're no stranger to humidity in Michigan too. I know it's not as much as in the South, but we have humid days here too. And I've never had an issue of not being able to make my hair look halfway decent at all. So I got out of the shower today. I'm like, oh boy, what's going to happen, right? I use the same products I use in Myrtle Beach. I styled it with the same Revlon little tool that I have, you know, carry with me that I have at home, took down there. And this is what I got. It's pretty, it's straight, it's kind of got a little shine to it. And there's not a lot of frizz going on. So happy to be back home. I'm trying to think what could cause that. Is it truly just humidity or could it be the water or both? So I want to hear your take on wherever it is you live, or maybe you've gone traveling somewhere and the differences between what you see at home or on vacation, because I was like, I was amazed at how different my hair looked. I mean, it was, it was bad. If I lived in Myrtle Beach, my hair would never look good ever. Well, at least in the summertime. Okay, you guys, so I was so excited to share my first designer purse with you guys. I know some of you were wondering what in the world it was. You knew it was Kate Spade, but you weren't sure what kind. So if I can find a link at all for that same purse and maybe the bigger bucket size, I'll put it down below um, in the links for you. So that way, if you wanna check it out for yourself or for a gift for somebody for Christmas, you, and you can get a, a really good deal like that, check down below and see if I found the link to put in the, in the description box for you guys. Look who had to come and say hi. He was jumping up on my leg. He saw me sitting over here filming and he knows what's going on. He had to come and say hi because he hasn't seen you guys in so long. Bentley, are you gonna say hi? Yeah, are you glad your mama's home? Yeah, he's good to go now. You're good to go? Are you gonna go take a nap? All right, you go take a nap. All right, I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.